Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, and why am I wearing a Christmas sweater? While well, I was in the middle of filming my Christmas special for this YouTube channel, I make more than Chucky video, guys. Please subscribe. I have other content relating to movies. I don't just want to be known as Chucky Boy, please. But I had to stop filming that, guys, because you guys let me know that there is this leaked image that came out that just gives us a ton of information about this new Child's Play remake. And if this is your first time hearing about this 2019 Child's Play remake that is going to be coming out, I have a playlist for you on my channel or a couple of videos in the description just to help you out and get you along to understand what's going on with this. I'm just a big horror fan and a lover of movies in general, so updating you on this has been pretty fun, and I'm just going to keep it going until the views stop. But just to quickly summarize, this is going to be a 2019 remake that has nothing to do with the OG Chucky, the original Charles Lee Ray Chucky. He's going to continue on in DVD form and have his own TV series that we yet to have any news for, but as soon as we do, I'll be on the case. It's gonna be starting all over and this is gonna be a technologically advanced doll that goes AI after a factory worker hacks the doll and lets it go on a murderous rampage. Aubrey Plaza will be playing the mother, Andy will be involved in this movie and he'll have a group of friends much like Stranger Things or the movie It. And it'll just be about these group of friends and the mother going to try and take down this technologically advanced AI Chucky doll. No Brad Dorif, no voodoo. Doesn't sound that appealing to hardcore Chucky fans, but some of the things about this movie have seemed kind of interesting and just holds enough potential that I'm like, I'm gonna give this a shot, but it could suck. So the thing that was released is the stunt double for Aubrey Plaza on her Instagram released this photo. Now this photo gives us a ton of information. This is gonna be speculation heavy, guys. I'm just gonna be taking my own interpretation of this and go ahead and let me know what you think this photo reveals to us about the movie. So a lot of things I'm gonna say are probably gonna be wrong, but based on all the information we've gathered so far with the movie, I have to think I have a pretty good idea of what they're trying to go for. So let's go ahead and dive into this photo. All right, so first thing I wanna look at is Aubrey Plaza and her stunt double. Now, if you look at Aubrey Plaza's clothing, you'll see that actually her clothing is a little dirty. It's messed up, it's been scuffled up. So maybe she got into a fight with the Chucky doll. Maybe this is the final scene where she's trying to stop this Chucky doll from attacking her loved ones. And I mean, you also notice the stunt double, her clothes are completely clean. And what it looks like from me, if you just zoom back before looking at all the details that this reveals. So to me, it looks like they're having a launch party. Now the company that is actually making these Chucky dolls is known as Castling Corporation. And through the marketing so far of this movie, they've been pretty heavily involved. From the marketing we gather they're sort of like an apple they make all these sorts of products telephones tablets drones and these advanced chucky dolls so it looks like they're getting ready to pull out their second generation of buddy dolls buddy 2 so this leads me to believe that the buddy doll that we get the one that gets turned ai and it goes on a murderous rampage is actually the last generation buddy doll especially looking at the poster we don't see any two on the poster unless it's being cgi'd out and they're holding back on that information just to not give away any plot details it looks to me like the one that we'll be watching is the last generation Chucky doll and the new ones are a lot more advanced and maybe that's the Chucky doll's motive is to get his subconscious hacked into a more advanced doll so he can do other things. And we also see along with it says all new buddy doll with AR. So AR is augmented reality. It's kind of what Apple's doing with their phones now how you could also do it through Snapchat where if you just see through the lens of your camera phone you see things that aren't really there but you can interact with them. Maybe this will involve the kids having to use their phones in order to interact with the Chucky doll and sees what it sees. That's just my guess. I don't know why they would be so heavily involving AR. I don't think you want to market it as dull as it being AI because if you discover AI, you're not putting it in a toy. You're releasing it out to the world to help people or just to cause destruction a la Skynet. But now zooming into the actual details of this picture, it's getting harder and harder to defend the look of this doll because look at this one. Okay, so this one is actually a blonde doll with blue eyes. It has a beanie, I guess the cold time, and we know it's going to revolve around the Christmas time. But if you look at those eyes, they're horrible. I mean, does this doll also come with glaucoma? What is wrong with it? It just looks horrible. And if this is anything what the actual Chucky doll is going to look like, it's more laughable than scary. And I mean, also I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it right above, but it details about the powers and a possible fan theory I have about what's going on with the movie that Chucky will actually hack into other dolls and use them as his minions. We saw another leak of someone holding an animatronic teddy bear. And we see right here that it basically confirms that a teddy bear will be involved in this movie. You have a photo of it right there. And along with some diverse Chucky dolls, a Chucky doll of color, a Chucky doll with blonde hair, and what it looks like right there, a Chucky doll with red hair that please don't say it looks like me. I get it. I'm chubby. 
love food. But to me, I think that those dolls are just gonna be meant for background purposes, that they'll probably CGI the finishing touches on them, and they're just having them look that crappy for budget purposes. I think the doll will look more like what the mannequin looks like on the floor, just that Chucky head alone. It's a lot more detailed, it has a lot more facial expression to it. The eyes are sunken in, like the Chucky doll that we got to see when the movie was first being announced. We also see balloons in the background announcing this Chucky doll with that just horrible face of a Chucky on the balloons. We also get to see some hockey sticks in the background. Now this isn't uncommon in the original Child's Play. You could buy Chucky along with accessories. I mean, Andy got it with a hammer. To me, it just looks like these hockey sticks are a little too big for this Chucky doll, but whatever. Getting to the point of what this could mean and speculation to the actual movie, to me, this actually kind of reveals that I think Aubrey Plaza actually works for the buddy company. That she actually works for Castling Corporation. That maybe she is a PR rep or handles the marketing for it. Because we all know from the original movie, Andy's mom was actually a Macy's worker, worked like in the perfume department, and she was struggling for money, and it was hard for her to get a Chucky doll, which is why she bought a bootleg one from a homeless man. But I don't think they'll go with the poor aspect. This doll seems hella expensive for everything that it can do. So I'm thinking more that Aubrey Plaza's character will actually work for Castling Corporation, and she'll just be able to get one of the dolls as a courtesy for working with the company and just hands it off to her son and then when she finds out what this doll is capable of and maybe it's eventual motive that I think is going to the other dolls and making them AI capable or just using all of them as minions and this is probably what leads her to the final act the launch party where the Chucky doll will be and her trying to stop it from launching all these other Chucky dolls to be a killer but I really think that's what it reveals here is that will be the eventual motive because this new Chucky doll's motive isn't no longer to get inside the body of Andy to me I thought the motive was since it's program to be a best friend that maybe it was just super attached to Andy and just killed anybody around him. But now I'm starting to see that maybe the motive is him trying to get all these other dolls activated just like him. Start over a takedown and man it's just sounding more and more like Terminator. You know how many Terminator comments I get in each one of these videos? But I think that's what's happening here and, and that's probably the final scene is this launch party where Aubrey Plaza gets scuffled up and the friends are along with them. But that's just my interpretation and speculation based off this photo guys. Let me know what you think about it. What do you think this reveals? Are there any hidden details in this photo that you think I missed. I'd be more than happy to discuss with you guys. Please comment down below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review and be looking out for that Christmas special on my channel. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.